We're standing in the engine staging area at the New River Valley truck plant in Dublin, Virginia. The engines built in the U.S. give me a lot of pride because I know the quality that goes into them. So with Regional Hall, we want to give the customers the performance they need, and many Regional Hall applications have to be lightweight. So the D11 is basically 365 pounds lighter than the D13. So it's extra weight that they can put in their payload, and it also gives them better fuel efficiency. So the idea is while they're traveling around in metropolitan areas, that they have a lighter engine, an engine that is more efficient, and an engine that can handle, you know, traveling at 65 miles an hour, loaded at 80,000 pounds when it gets outside the city. The new D11 is more efficient because we've removed load off of the engine. The new D11 also has been made more powerful. We've increased the horsepower from 405 to 425. The cylinders now have less friction. The new fuel system is more efficient. All of this takes load off the engine, and because of that, we've actually uh, increased our fuel efficiency by 2.2%. The wave piston is important uh, for fuel efficiency because it produces a 90% drop in soot output from the cylinder. So we're able to raise compression, and we're able to keep soot down the system, kind of the best of both worlds. Another thing we've done is we've added a new two-speed coolant pump to the XE version of the D11. That also helps achieve extra fuel efficiency. The D11 is best in class because it's more efficient, it's lighter, and it offers the only downspeeding packages for customers that can run lighter weight on interstate applications at, let's say, cruise speeds of 65 miles per hour. Because we've actually matured our XC downspeeding packages, our performance is higher on that package, so you still have performance and you have extreme fuel efficiency. When I go out and drive on the streets and interstates, you see our trucks, you see the slash on the grill, you know it's a Volvo. These trucks are actually carrying our economy. 